like the Ku Klux Klan. And as we've shown you many times in the past, U.S. military documents describing CONUS operations, that's the continental United States, where rules regarding the use of deadly force in confronting dissidents are made disturbingly clear with the directive that a warning shot will not be fired. Or this document that talks about policies that would be applied within U.S. territory with the internment, resettlement, indoctrination, and re-education of political dissidents using their social security number. Clearly, it's not for foreign operations. And finally, I think it's significant how detailed these buildings are. They could easily train for foreign urban warfare using concrete shells of buildings which are cheaper, and that's what they've done in the past. But here they have a completely intact American town, down to the Washington DC subway logos and a small church building. Looks like they're training for a different kind of conflict. President James Madison wrote, the means of defense against foreign danger have always been the instruments of tyranny at home. But as Alex Jones pointed out in his documentary, 9-11, The Road to Tyranny, way back in 2001, FEMA was telling firefighters and other emergency personnel in Kansas that the founding fathers were terrorists. That's very good. When people are passionate about what they believe in, they become a very difficult enemy to beat. Who was the first terrorist organization in the United States? <clears throat> Who? Founding Fathers. Founding Fathers. You mean Thomas Jefferson? Oh, yeah. You mean uh, George Washington? Oh, yeah. Paul Revere? Yeah. Yeah. These guys right here, let me ask you something. Did they try to scare people? Oh, yeah. They tried to intimidate the British. Did they try to, did they use acts of violence? Your Founding Fathers, my Founding Fathers, were involved in acts of terrorism. Posse Comitatus? Constitution? That's just yesterday's red tape. My friends, Alex Jones here to tell you about some of the most important information concerning you and your family's health. Radiation levels have more than doubled in the last 60 years in the Northern Hemisphere from all of the nuclear testing and radiological accidents. Radioactive contamination is now in most of the food supply. There's only two ways to avoid this. Move south of the equator or properly protect your thyroid with nascent iodine. Survival Shield nascent iodine. Secure your super high quality nascent iodine today at InfoWars Live. Life.com.